Hello and welcome to my review of the goodies, the complete BBC collection. Today we're on to episode 5, The Music Lovers. When the goodies notice that musicians everywhere are being abducted, they decide to become musicians themselves in order to get abducted and find out who is behind it all. They find themselves in the clutches of the music master, who has a plan to gain a monopoly over all the recording in Britain, and has set up a giant recording studio in his mansion. There is a lot of Rolf Harris bashing in this episode. The boys are really upping their hatred of Rolf Harris. And uh, in particular, I noticed the joke where the music master threatens to punish them by locking them in a room with Rolf Harris, which has rather different connotations today than it would have then. Um, I think it's interesting to note that, you know, in this time of cancel culture and political correctness, the goodies at least stand on the right side of history with their attitude towards Rolf Harris. Oh no! Something much worse! You're going to be locked up in a cell with... Rolf Harris! <laughs> Parts of this episode include Graham playing the banjo as well as the saxophone we've seen him play before. Um, obviously musical talent runs in his family because I believe Graham's son is actually a member of the band the Scissor Sisters today. Another real highlight of this episode is um, the boys version of Land of Hope and Glory which they turn into a real rock and roll anthem and it does rock. Um, Bill is in such great voice here. And his other song, the Philharmonic um, Glee Club Rock and Roll Band, is also a standout. Another thing I really loved in this episode was Tim's psychedelic outfit when they're at their um, music festival. I'm a bit of a fan of um, men's psychedelic clothing from this era, and while the other boys' outfits are nice, Tim's is superb. One thing that did um, surprise me in this episode was that Graham is not wearing his corduroy pants anymore. Suddenly he's wearing these tweed pants and I don't know why and I don't like it. Call me old fashioned but I prefer my Graham in corduroy and whether or not I happen to have a corduroy fetish as a result of early exposure to Graham is neither here nor there. I just do not like the tweed pants. Another noticeable difference in this episode is that the baked beans um, advert parody uh, appears to have been recorded in the studio and it's not a filmed element like the um, ads usually are. There are so many great visual gags with all the musical instruments all the way through this episode. I found it a really inventive um, episode full of lots of wonderful physical comedy. One surprising moment in the episode was the, um, the scene where Bill emerges from the bathroom uh, where he's been having a bath with the semi-naked uh, symphony string orchestra um, singing along to their music. and I, I just thought that was a really odd moment and a nice counterbalance um, having the semi-naked male orchestra to the dolly bird element that was in the earlier part of the episode with the girl singers. This episode's guest stars include Henry McGee as the music master, uh, Scylla Black, Corbett Woodall and Katja Wyeth once again. Um, I thought Henry McGee was very effective in his role as the music master and he had a really sinister Dracula-like quality. Um, I do recall watching this as a youngster and finding him a little bit unsettling and I think he would have been quite effective actually in a dramatic role, uh, you know, as a vampire or something like that, although he is of course more widely known for his comedy work with Benny Hill. The Music Lovers is a strong and really funny episode with lots of laughs and it has that great ending with uh, Scylla Black singing the high note which destroys the goodies set. Bill gets to really showcase his musical talents here um, all throughout the episode and he's featured singing on camera as well as off and I really enjoyed seeing him be able to uh, show off his great musical skills. Overall, I found this a strong episode and I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me next time when we move on to uh, Culture for the Masses. Bye.